Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, and today is a school video, and you're probably like, what? School has already started, it's basically half of the semester, it's basically halfway already. What I can say to you is, yes, I know, I'm very late. And I really wanted to make this video because I just love videos like this, I binge watch them all the time, so I was like, why wouldn't I make one? And originally, I actually filmed one of these types of videos a long time ago, but I wasn't happy with it because I was like, I didn't have all the supplies I wanted. Like, how do I explain that better? I didn't, like, there's things that I wanted that I didn't have, so I was like, why would I film it now if I don't have the things I want? So now my book bag is finally complete. There is every single thing like I imagined, imagined it. And I'm so happy with it and I like I feel like a book bag means a lot about you. Like they don't like in my school sometimes they do um like I think it's like one, last year they did a book bag check where they were like checking your book bag and I was so unhappy cuz I was embarrassed to show my book bag. Not because I had drugs or anything to get, no. It's because I was so not organized, so cluttered, and I was embarrassed, and I feel like when they were checking my book bag, I was being judged, like, a lot. I felt really judged. Like, it was just a bunch of papers on papers on papers. And I just felt so judged. Like, they're like, you should probably clean your book bag, and I'm like, I know, it's really messy. But this year, I'm organized. I'm actually organized. And yes, I started school already, and this is my book bag. This book bag is, um, I got it at Aeroposto? Uh, yeah, Aeroposto. I'm pretty sure I got this at Aeroposto or Abercrombie & Fitch. I'm pretty sure it's Aeroposto. Yeah, yeah, Aeroposto. Uh, it's by the company Prince Fox. And, yeah, I don't want to start with the bottom pocket. I want to start with the top. I really, the thing I love about this book bag is that, first of all, I really love the leather bottom. I really wanted a black book bag with a leather bottom. I really wanted that. So, and I also really love the logo. It's just this really cute fox. I really wanted a Jansport one, but Prince Fox is also really good. So, let's start with the book bag. This is just an overview of it. And there's some things that I always, like, hold. So, I'm also considering those things. So the first thing of what I hold like while I'm walking around is my water bottle. This is from Victoria's Secret and literally everyone has this like everyone owns this water bottle. Like I've seen this everywhere and I thought it was so original. I was originally going to get Adidas one but it was like so bulky and I really just wanted like I can just slip it in my book bag and as you can see like just it fits right there. But the thing was so bulky and like kind of like big but I probably it was really cute because it was mint and gray. But I found this one, and I realized everyone has it. And I also really like that the Adidas one didn't have this. It has something similar to this, which it has a little thing, and I can just hold it around and walk around campus. Another thing I have is this. I'm just reassembling it. It's this. And you're probably like, what is that? It's just a Starbucks cup. It is. It's um, They sell these for $2 at Starbucks, and they're just recyclable. And I bring it to school at the bus stop every morning, and I'm just like, coffee. Because I drink coffee... Yes, you can tell me it's weird that I'm a child who drinks coffee. Judge me, but I love coffee, especially French vanilla or hazelnut. Leave me in the comments what your favorite um, coffee flavor is. Mine is French vanilla or hazelnut, but if I had to choose, hazelnut. I love those two flavors. Mmm, so good. I'm not a fan of pumpkin spice, by the way. Even though, even though it's October, I love the smell of pumpkins. Like, I clearly love the smell of pumpkins. It's the perfume pumpkin. Body lotion pumpkin, body wash pumpkin. I clearly love the smell, don't love the taste. I don't like pumpkin pie, I don't like pumpkin spice latte, I don't like anything pumpkin taste, smell. <clears throat> so yeah, and this, you're probably like, what is this wet thing? It was a DIY, and I was like, that sounds really cool. Cause this thing gets really hot, and like, I'm like <clears throat> it burns my hand. So I was looking up like, DIY like, little cozies, and like cut like the top of your socks. And I was like, okay. So I found, I actually had a green and white sock, which max, matches Starbucks. So I was like, that's genius. And then what you can do is just slip it right on. And then it's a little cozy. And I'm like, that looks great it's because it's dirty. I haven't washed it. But yeah, coffee. 
Now for the insides of my book bag. Let's start with the smaller to bigger things. Now, this is my pencil case. It is from Forever 21 and it is a makeup bag. And you probably have heard this, like if you don't have a pencil case, I, I, I couldn't find any cute ones. I originally got this pencil box and I hated it. Like it was really ugly. I was like, I'm not happy with it. So I really wanted a cuter pencil case and I got this one and I'm really happy with it. It's like really net. And when school's over, I'm planning to use this as my regular makeup bag because I'm using this one and this one's pretty ugly. So when school's over, I'm using this as my regular makeup bag. And I'm just gonna go through a little things of the contents inside my makeup bag, my makeup bag, uh, my pencil pouch. So first things first is pens. I have two pens. I have one black, which is my boring basic one like you, and then my fun pen. This, I love it. This is green because green is my favorite color and I call this one my fun pen because I love, I love it. Uh, I keep highlighters. I love highlighting things and I know if you watch Alicia Marie, you can be like, oh, you're copying Alicia. But I'm also highlighter obsessed. My notebooks literally look like a coloring book. I know it's what Alicia says, but guess what? I'm stealing it. Guess what? Mine, same girl, same. Mine literally look like a coloring book. And I got the fun colors like screw yellow, like ew. Pink, purple, and orange. Then I have an expo marker and you're probably like, why teachers are supposed to have that? Well, in some of my classes, they have mini whiteboards, especially for math. They can use mini whiteboards, and instead of, like, wasting paper for rough draft, you, like, not rough draft, um, uh, as you, like, practice or, like, solving the problem, you just use whiteboards, and they save a lot of, like, paper. And, so, yeah, I keep one, and I bought, uh, my friend gave me this, actually, I didn't, I didn't buy this, but my friend gave it to me, and I got it. I asked her for, like, for the pink one. Sharpies. You're probably like, why those are banned in schools, you're not supposed to have those. But guess what, I love Sharpies, they, I love coloring, I'm a really fun person and I like to color a lot, I like to underline and I don't, people are like, oh just use your pen to underline. If if it says, if I ask my teacher can I highlight and she says no, I'm like can we, un uh, she's like no, only underlining or circling. I hate circling things, prefer underlining and I use Sharpies and I like to color. I have three colors. Especially green. Green is my favorite color, like I've already said. Uh, I don't want to show my pencils, because they're really ugly. <laughs> like, the erasers are, like, so ugly, and this one's even broken. I'm, I have more pencils in, like, my desk area, so I'm going to put more in my book bag, but these are really ugly. Uh, I keep one mechanical pencils. I hate mechanical pencils, but some teachers <coughs> like better to use mechanical pencils, so I keep one... Um, I hate mechanical pencils, I prefer wooden. I'm an old style. Then I have scissors, pretty self-explanatory. And a glue stick. Again, looks really ugly, but I don't care. So yeah, oh wait, one more thing. This, you're probably like, what is that? Um, uh, if you take, um, for, if you take math, um, some math teachers like you to do online problems. Uh, such as going through math, which maybe some of you know, but I like to keep this and it's just three index cards and I've sale of using loose leaf paper. Um, for some reason she doesn't want to use whiteboards when we're doing things through math, but I like to keep some index cards and I just do some problems here and I just, yeah. Now for, uh, this and you're probably like, what is that? It is like stuff that's like big that I don't want to put in my pretty pencil pouch, I want to put it in this ugly Ziploc bag. So, first thing you probably notice is this, and you're probably like, why don't you just have a mini stapler? This is like way too giant. You know why I don't have a mini stapler? Because, mini stapler, mini stapler, because they break. They break so easily. Last year I had one, it broke. So this one is big and it just doesn't break. I hate mini staplers because they always break. Uh, I have the next cards. Boring. A calculator. I use this a lot. Some may call me a bad influence, but I call myself a genius. By the way, if you know this life hack, it's basically where you put your phone here and it pretends like you're using a calculator, but you're actually using your phone. So yeah, that. And it's Texas Instruments, in case you, know, in case you wanted to know. And color pencils. Pretty, pretty self-explanatory. 
Now for these. I keep two books. Uh, one is uh, just a book that is like I wanted to read it. And then this book is um, like I have to read this for a specific class. And they like make me read it. Which not that good of a book, but okay. Uh, next thing I have is this. And this I call it my technology bag. And what it is, it's just a portable charger, a char um, like a thing to connect my phone to the portable charger, and a USB. This is just for like technology purposes in case my phone dies or um, I have a class where I need to like transfer something to a USB, so I keep a USB. I don't keep headphones in there. My headphones are in my mini pocket. We're going to get to that. This, you're probably like, why do you keep a giant bottle in your bag? This is actually fabric refreshener. I take gym, and after gym, I smell pretty bad. And you're like, why don't you just put perfume in it? Because perfume doesn't last that long unless you put Vaseline on your body or you have oily skin, which I have kind of oily skin. But I keep fabric refreshener. It, like, sticks onto your clothes, and it makes it smell clothes. I can't say that word, clothes. I can't say it. And it sticks on and just doesn't leave you, so. Mmm. Feels good. Next thing is paper. Notebooks. I have two. Uh, this is just a fun, like, basic, like, I, I actually like old school, like, designs. Like, people are like, oh, I like, like, really chic pink with a little pop of gold. No, I like old school notebooks. These old school, like, like that type, I really like that for some reason. Don't know why. I just really like that. And then this one I really, I kind of, I really like because it's like, I, I couldn't find another one for like this kind, but I really like this one because it's like really just bendable and I really like this one. This is probably like my second favorite one. Next, I keep one of these bad boys. It is, I also like this one because it has like that type of thing. And if you don't know what these are, these are five stars. And what it does is that it keeps um, like five subjects in one notebook. You've probably seen this already, but and it has these dividers with like folders in them. And uh, how I like people like like draw on the top. I put sticky notes, and then it just says the name of the class. Like they kind of like bend down for some reason because they're weird. But like let's say this one says civics. So yeah, I really like these notebooks. Uh. Lastly, oh, well, not lastly, lastly for the big part, is my binder, and you're probably like, what is this? It's ginormous. I know it is. On the front, um, it's just a study guide for a class that I like to, like, paper clip, like, study guides, or, like, papers, like, I are important to the front of my binder. So, yeah. And here's just a quote I like. If you watch Matthias, you know this quote. I fell in love with the quote. A quote. It is stay hungry, stay foolish. I fell in love with the quote. The back is, if you're just like me, 21 pilots. Uh, jo oh, pff, I can't point. Hello. Uh, Josh, Tyler, babies, and stay alive. So, yeah. And on the side is just a picture of me and my best friend slash cousin slash my everything. Love you. Yeah. And here is just a little sticky note that I thought it was funny. My friend gave it to me. It says, I'm so Josh done with you. And it says, stay happy. And I really liked it, so I kept it. I know that's really lame, but don't judge me. And then you probably know what a binder is because it's pretty self-explanatory. Uh, it just keeps all your things organized and yeah. Pretty self-explanatory. And I, I keep, like, folders. Like, you're like, where's your folders? I keep them inside my binder. I prong them into my binder. So I have my first folder, my second folder, and my third one, which is, yeah. And then I have a small DIY that I did. Oh, this paper fell out. Get back in your binder, place area. Oh, no, I broke that. I break that. No, it breaks your It's like my head. So yeah, that's just my next folder and ooh, go. So I'm loose leaf paper. I like to keep it in my binder, not like loose in my book bag because it usually just goes everywhere. And then I made this small DIY thing and they're like, uh, I don't own a planner. I wish I bought one, but I didn't. I completely forgot, but I was so happy with this. 
It's basically it says Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, slash Friday. And I can just ah, made a huge mess. <laughs> uh, and what it is, the tape, I need to put new tape on it, but what it is is basically just I can write what today is and today I have to study for my civics class. It's basically agenda, I can just take it off. It'll be good for the day. And then I also made this small DIY that sh <laughs> that's still on my head. I did this small DIY, which I really like, and it is a mini whiteboard. You just put tape, and then where's my Expo marker? You can write on it, and it's really dirty because I made it, yeah, and then it's erasable. So, yeah, I thought that was genius. Oh, so, sorry. The tap fell. I need to retape that. I'm just going to leave that out so I can retape it after this video. And now for more fun, like a more fun part, which is the front pocket. Now the first thing you see of the front pocket is this little bad boy. It is a, just a small little sanitizer and this, which you can clearly see I'm obsessed with 21 Pilots. It is a 21 Pilots keychain. I love it. Now for what's inside the small pocket. I usually have my phone in here, but I don't right now. I keep oil oil blotting sheets. These are awesome right after gym. I'm usually really oily after gym. So I just go to the bathroom and get an oil blotting sheet. And it's by Elf, so it's cheap. And yeah, I just like to oil up. Just clean up all the oils. I keep band-aids, because you never know. I use these a lot, and I usually take these from a teacher. Take these from a teacher. A baby lips. Oh my god, I love baby lips. I like this one because it's pink, and I just really like the color. And it feels so good, and it smells like pomegranate. Ugh. Love it. It smells really good. So, yeah. Next, I keep Tylenol. I know you're not supposed to have this. It's like, no, I don't have that. But guess what? I get headaches. Headaches freaking suck. So, I like to have these. And there's only, like, three left. Stop me. Uh... These. These are my headphones. I keep them with me, not in, like, Tonology bag, but in here. And you're probably like, what's that little plastic thing? Uh, it's a thing from the, like, uh, I don't play the clarinet. My friend does, and she gave me this. And it's like, you know, if you play the clarinet, you, like, have that wooden little stick. And then it comes in this packaging. And I use the packaging, and I was like, when she gave me the thing, I was like, this would be good to, like, hold headphones. And then... I rolled up my headphones and I'm like, dang, I can't be pretty organized. I use headphones a lot during school, especially like teachers who are super cool who let you listen to music. 90% of my teachers don't let me use the music, but sometimes when you do like um, class assignments where you like need to watch a video on like a computer and then, yeah, they make you put on headphones, I'm prepared. I don't want to borrow the headphones that the school gives you. Ew, those are so disgusting. And then last thing, oh, actually, no, second to last thing, a hair tie. Pretty self-explanatory. Mm -hmm. I usually have my wallet in here, which is actually back there. I keep my wallet in this little circle thing, and it's just my wallet in there, and mints. Babe, and I get these. These are my favorite kind of mints. They taste so good. So, yeah, just some mints is the last thing. I usually have my phone and my wallet, but I don't right now. Sorry. I keep these mints, they taste so good. I usually eat one before I go to school. Even though I brush my teeth in the morning, I still like to eat one before school. And I like to eat one after lunch so my breath can stink. And then my breath smells like watermelon. Mm. So yeah, that's pretty much everything in my book bag. It's empty, it's empty. And again, Prince Fox. So yeah, I love my book bag. I'm so happy with it now. That's everything. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video of seeing everything I keep in my book bag. Hopefully this inspired you to do something and organize your book bag. Uh, so yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you stay to the end, good for you. Because usually this video is like 10 minutes, but dang, this video is long. I didn't expect that. So yeah, give this video a like and subscribe. And I hope you enjoyed this video. And now you can enjoy your week. Bye.